So today we're picking wild blueberries and we are at the start of our epic hike. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. All right, so off we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. We've been seeing people come back from the uh, the trail up here and they've got so many berries. There was one family, they, uh, how many kids they had? They're like three kids? Three, yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh, they had this huge bucket of blueberries. Oh, it's gonna be great. I love these trails, they're so awesome. You feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but really, I mean, we're just minutes from the house. Look at all these pretty colors too. I love this place. We may have found some blueberries, so we've sent the scouts out to investigate. Which is good, because we're ready for a little break anyway, huh? Yeah. Well, there were blueberries up there, but unfortunately the bushes were just too small and a little picked out. So we're gonna go up here just a little bit more. Yeah, this part looks really good. <laughs> yeah, if you can just set my couch up like right there, I'll just take in the view. <laughs> Talk about a good view for berry picking. Dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we got this couch. I know. <laughs> Your couch is set up, my dear. It's a perfect spot, dude. Ah. Now pick me berries. <laughs> <laughs> You're already finding them just right there? Just right here. That is amazing. First blueberry. Ah. Delicious. Ooh, oh man, that's tart. Yeah, it is, huh? Mm. It's so cool that we live in a place where we can just drive like five minutes from our house and pick wild blueberries. They're so good. It's so good. Plus, blueberries are super expensive in the store, so it's also really nice we don't have to buy them. <laughs> yeah, look at all these awesome blueberries. They're so beautiful. They're so tasty. Look at that. Just from right there. Ah! <laughs> Gold, I dropped it. You want to trade so you can pick some blueberries? Yeah. All right. She just needed a little daddy time. Are you using your GCI jacket to make quick work of that diaper change? Yes, because I want to change these diapers fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to it. Since I've been picking blueberries, I think I found maybe like a dozen. And Corey had this thing. He had a lot of blueberries. I feel like maybe his brain just works a little differently than everyone else's, so he's able to look for spots that most people wouldn't think. I feel like I'm just following the same trails that everyone else does, and so where I look, it's already been all picked. But that's not gonna stop me from looking. Okay, so I went hiking up the mountain more, and oh my gosh, I feel like the berries up here got more and more dense. Like, the berry bushes aren't big, but they're everywhere. I have to say, this has to be one of the greatest things for families to do. I was talking about it with my mom. It's like, you come out here with your kids, and you're, you're, first of all, you're getting outside. You're doing things as a family. You're picking berries, berries that are really good, really tasty. Uh, you're teaching them about the land and, and things that grow from it. And then, when you get home, you get to cook with your kids. You're learning. You're, you're again, doing more things. And at the end of the day, you have this beautiful meal with some beautiful, delicious blueberries. This is such an amazing thing to do with kids. Oh my gosh. Another great reason to live in Alaska. And there we go. There's our pickings for the day. Looks really good. On the left we've got crowberries. On the right we've got blueberries. Next time we need to come out with a berry scoop because apparently it makes it a lot easier. All right, so it looks like we've come across a geocache and it's around here somewhere. So we are gonna look for it. It says three o'clock, that's all we got. I'm thinking three o'clock, it's gonna be three o'clock from the position marked, which would be probably these trees. Whoa. Hmm, this is interesting. Wonder if this means anything. Maybe it's pointing down. Ow. No, nope. I don't see anything there. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. Yeah, I was just coming under here and I looked around and I said, oh, there it is, right there. Replacement log. What's the other stuff say? It replaced it. Well, there wasn't much to it, but hey, we found it. I'm not gonna lie, that one was a bit of a confidence booster for me, <laughs> considering how hard it was for us to, to find the last geocaches. Yeah, yeah, found that pretty fast. And it said it was not really an easy one, which it wasn't. 
That was, it was... I think it said the difficulty was like a two, dude. Oh, hey, it's not a one, so... <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, this place is crazy. So this is what happens to the fireweed when it gets older. It starts turning into cotton. These are all the seeds and it just floats away. Yeah, but it's too early for it to be cotton now. Yeah, I think somebody just opened it up or something. This man is amazing. Best place to ride that. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so dangerous. You know, there's a lot of things that I've seen go off road. Can't say I've ever seen an off-road unicyclist. That's that's like the furthest thing from off-roading I, I thought I'd ever yes. see. Like even skateboarding, okay, I've seen that. I've seen off-road skateboarding, they got big wheels. Dude, for real, that is awesome. I, I wanna learn to do that just to be that epic. Woo. No, no. <laughs> All right, so do you guys think we're gonna actually make it home since we don't have any gas in the car? I'm so nervous. Look, if we run out of gas, we all we have to do is roll down. It's all downhill from here. Like, yeah. So the, the light came on when we were driving up here though, and that's pretty far up here, like, uh, you should have got gas before you left. <laughs> I don't know, I think we'll make it. I mean, it's... I, uh, you think? I, I don't think, I don't know. Okay, you're stuck because you're pulling my hair and I can't get your feet out because I can't lift you far enough away because you're pulling my hair. Get the feet out of there. Get the feet out of there. Nope, you pulled tighter. Oh, she had a grip. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Do you want me to reach into the car seat? Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you're for, now you gotta go ahead. Okay, quick. Quick, let's get you in your seat, huh? You're so precious. You're so precious. You're looking at your binky, huh? Oh. Look how precious you is. Mm. Okay. Do you think we're gonna run out of gas, little girl? Hey, the car started. That's 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 a start. That's a good thing. That is a start, really. <laughs> okay, so here's what you do. Put it neutral. Yep. And coast on down. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is what they call hypermiling. They see me rolling. The bad thing, though. They <laughs> hate Ted. They know I be running on fumes. I be running on fumes. I be running on fumes. Mom doesn't know what I'm singing. Hey, wait till he finds out. When you're neutral, you ride the brake more. And you ride the brake <gasps> more. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, that was a big poop. Okay, that we better was. not run out of gas. Just no, saying. We, better not. we no. need to get home pronto. Yep. No, we need to get to a gas station and then home though. Because oh, like... Wait, what do we do first? I, I, I have a gas can at home. I've got a gas can. I got AAA. We'll be fine. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, it's we're not good. We gotta go home. <laughs> hey, the gas light went off now. Yeah. Yeah. See, I told you. A it's, of a tank. it's just be yeah, a quarter of a tank. It's just because we're going downhill, and so all the gas shifted forward to the front of the gas tank. Okay, so is the gas station now you, downhill from here? Well, it now, is. now you need to blog it. Yeah, we're gonna be taking gas. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shoot, we'll go to the gas tomorrow. All right, so I get to take this little <laughs> munchkin. A little crazy. Wow. <laughs> what is what is this in my pants? All right, guys. Well, it has been a really funny day today, um, but it is super late, so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Like I said, this week is gonna be fun. We're gonna have lots and lots of fun. I have no idea what we're gonna do tomorrow, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. So make sure you guys come back and watch. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Whoa, damn, I gotta do that again. <laughs> saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm. Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do. And the best part is we're sharing it with you. Do like hella. How you doing, Mom?